now that I got my coffee, we can officially start off the video. What is going on, team? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see in the back, I'm playing Forza Horizon 4 with an MK4 Super, one of my favorite games to play on PC. If any of you guys play Forza Horizon 4, hit me up, add me, we can run it. You know, I have no one to play with, so it kind of gets boring. I'm waiting for Larry to pick me up right now. We have an excited day ahead of us. We're picking up a new car, and then we're finally going back home and ripping the TTS for the first time as it just got finished uh, getting fixed. So I didn't record, but last week it developed an all four cylinder misfire that we took care of. It was a simple fix. So we're gonna, after we pick up the car, we're gonna head back home and uh, probably meet up with some homies, crews, and just enjoy the TTS. Two hours later, Larry finally picked me up with this big ass trailer in the back. And of course the car doesn't run, that's why we got the trailer, nothing, nothing unusual. Hi right, Larry, what's, what's up? up guys? Tell us a little bit about the car we're getting. So we're picking up an E28 uh, 524 TDS. Uh, so basically it's a diesel 5 series BMW. Uh, there's only like around like 1,500 of them made for the US market, so it's kind of rare. And I was just browsing Craigslist last night, and I was bored, and I'm like, this is pretty cool. So I called up my buddy, Jugas here, and uh, we're gonna go pick it up, so that's the plan. Yeah, and uh, how many BMWs you got now? Uh, this will be our seventh in the family, so I personally have four, including this one that we're getting now. Uh, my mom has one, and my dad has two, so yeah, it's a... Uh, and, <laughs> and most of the time, half of them don't even run or are in the shop. We, uh, he's, you guys have seen some of his collection in the shop, as you guys showed you in the last video. But yeah, another BMW going to be added to the collection. This one, this one's going to be rare diesel. I don't know what we're going to do with it. It's got, there's definitely going to be more videos on this, and since it's still going to need some work. And then he also has an E30 that you guys haven't seen it. We picked up uh, like half a year ago. Yeah, I want to say like. Uh Mid, mid spring we picked it up uh, yeah. it's just been sitting so we need we need to do something with it it's a five speed manual you know? yeah it's a five speed manual the engine is gone so we're thinking about swapping it i'm not really familiar with the with the bmw engines but we're thinking about swapping it make some maybe, content for it yeah maybe put it in the s52 and then uh on the diesel that i'm picking up uh i don't know if i look into like a turbo swap uh maybe something bigger if there is that kind of option because i know these engines were uh, popular in europe so might be able to find something that works and put some more power down. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into that because I mean it's an automatic car, five series, it's slow, it's an 85, so we'll see what you can do with it. But yeah, we're on our way right now uh, to Wisconsin. We got what an hour and a half to go. Yeah, we got an hour and each and then, and then we're, we'll see what we're getting ourselves into. That mattress is about to take off. <laughs> There she is, the old diesel lady over there. Let's go check her out, boys. Mission failed. It was way more damage, not damage, but there was way more work yeah, that uh, needed to be done on the car than we, we we thought in the beginning. Yeah, the guy never mentioned in the ad that uh, the engine was all torn apart. And uh, when I went to look, there was already uh, rust on like the tips of the camshaft. And then uh, uh, there were scratches on the camshaft, which, uh, you know, I was putting my fingernail on them and they were already uh, catching. So it's, you know, needs to be replaced or re, uh, I don't know how to call it, re honed down. But it's, uh, it was just too much work, not worth the money. And, you know, you can buy a car like that and bring a trailer or something for like 12 grand. And it's like exactly. in amazing shape, you know? And it's like, if he, if, if he would have got it, put in all that money, like the car is, it's not, it's not fun to drive, it's slow, it's a diesel. I mean, it's just a collectible car. A collectible well, I mean, car. My thought was, you know, with the car, I'll uh, change the fluids, put in some new bushings here and there, you know, and just have like a little fun extra car to have, you know, but. Uh, yeah, but now that the engine was all torn apart. Yeah, it was just way too much work and beyond my reach, so we decided to and cancel the deal. Yeah, and from, uh, from what we saw, there was, the previous owner was already trying to do some work to some engine work like we said everything was taken yeah. apart the um, engine didn't spin nothing yeah, so the engine wouldn't even turn over like uh, manually and uh, otherwise the body the body and the interior was really clean but it's just it's not uh, it's not worth yeah it's not worth the time it's not worth the money exactly. but yeah right now sadly we're going back without a car empty-handed empty-handed <laughs> we're gonna drop out the trailer and then we're gonna go pick up the TTS from the mechanic and Gonna have some fun, boys. Secure the bag of Culver's, one with some cheese curds. You guys already know we in Wisconsin, so it only felt right to get some cheese curds. 
and a Culver's Deluxe. Boys about a feast. And just like that, boys, we are back in the TTS, running smoothly, no check engine lights, no any other lights. The car is healthy like it was before. No more misfires, man, guys. I am so happy. This car is finally 100% good actually i wouldn't say 100 percent because there are susp some suspension issues now but the car is drivable i'm gonna go enjoy it right now and uh when i get home i'll tell you the mistakes uh, that i made that caused the car to misfire yeah it was uh it was a few little stupid mistakes that i made but you live you learn little third gear pull for the boys let her rip <laughs> Let's go. Damn, I missed this shit. All right, we're about to have our first rip in the TTS, baby. Let her rip. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. Uh, it's not misfiring anymore, but I think there's uh, something with the idle uh, control valve. I think there's something up with that because it's just idling at higher RPMs, but it's not misfiring. But damn, I really spoke too soon. What originally was causing the misfires was the PCV valve was missing one of the uh, bolts on the bottom of it. Uh, it was leaking air through there. Then I also didn't uh, install that hose over there, the bigger hose on the right. I didn't install that correctly, so that was leaking air. And then the dipstick was also leaking air because there was no O-ring there, so I have to get a new dipstick. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The PCV valve got fixed. He just put in a new screw and then he just readjusted the hose over there and that eliminated the, the misfires. Right now, I'm gonna enjoy the car because I'm, I'm too lazy to just think about fixing this car. <laughs> you know, I would rip the car for you guys, but I don't want the neighbors to hate me, even though they probably already hate me. Never gets old. Definitely needs a Cali's downpipe ASAP. Just got home, currently when I am a great time with the homies. Didn't make an intro earlier today, so that's why I'm making one right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try my best to upload weekly. Today was a weird day. We were all over the place. We tried to buy a car that didn't go through it. But of course, the most importantly, we got our baby back, even though we got the check engine light again. It's all good, we'll take care of that. But I'm just glad to be driving this. We got it back. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next one. And most importantly, stay valid. Peace. Till I get up Time is barely on our side